We're out on the water. We've got the Tucker Cat 260LX on the rack. We're going to launch it. We're going to retrieve it. We're going to do some testing and review of the Tucker Cat 260LX. Welcome back to the rudder. My name's Damien and welcome aboard Antoinette, our Mary Fisher 895. Just before we get out underway, I thought it'd be a great opportunity to have a look at the Tacker Cat on the tender rack. We're still on our fab dock. If you don't know what that is, uh, check out the video um, connected above. But yeah, so I can walk around and just see how our Tacker Cat sits on our awesome tender rack above our engines. Here we are at the stern of the Tacker Cat and it's tied down and I guess the first thing you can see is just that no transom at the back uh, so one of the good things is you can keep the tacky cat on your tender rack the right way up because it's not going to fill with water I'll just go around the side and we can have a look at everything it's very secure on there Whoop. here we are at the other end so you can see it's sitting very nicely on the rack and it's got a flat hull because it's catamaran design so there's the two hulls two inflatable tubes and it sits right on those two so its center of weight is almost underneath the tender rack so of course of course we've got tie downs but it really sits on there quite well and as i mentioned with that open design you can store it the right way up because the water just all flows away so it's very secure on there there were a few thoughts around do the engines clear uh, the answer is they do I'll try and get a video of that when we trim the engines down you can see it on the tender rack it sits very well let's get out of here let's get on the water and try out the tacky cat launching and retrieving it and just how it goes as a tender this tacky cat 260 is 2.6 meters long it is a little bit longer than our previous uh, tender so one of the things we look at is just your ease of entry on and off the vessel. Uh, you've got a little bit to move through, but you've got plenty of room. You can get on and off here. And that's why we put the um, stern to the port side, because you've got the nose is a little bit shallower. Okay. We've only launched this twice, so we're still getting the handle on the best way to do it, but this is the way uh, I've done it so far. So let's launch it. It's um, a single person job. The launching is quite light. Before you launch, also, uh, yeah, common factor of many tenders when you launch them is uh, people forgetting to tie them on. So it's tied on, it's a good long rope. Uh, I've only done this a few times, so I'm sure I'm finding different ways to do it, but it's quite light. Factors around the Tiger Cat is you don't have that big tube at the front, so getting on and off is really simple. You can literally put it underneath the duckboard and wander straight on. Uh, obviously, we don't keep the uh, tender engine on whilst we're while well, the tender's on the rack, and this is pretty much the same as any tender, just depends on how heavy your engine is. But one thing I have noticed is that the mount is quite wide so we need to have these open quite a bit. So there you have the tappy cat on the water as we bounce around with Antoinette. You can see the nose is lifted up and just that ease of getting on and off board. And the water obviously is just going to flow straight through. The motor's on the transom. Uh, it's quite sturdy. There's no way you're going to really rock this one over. Move it out. Yeah. So let's go take it for a test drive and then we'll get everyone loaded up and uh, see how it is with passengers. 
So just while we're out on the boat, I thought I'd just do a little bit of voiceover. So you can see this is probably just how we use it most of the time. That's a 2.3 horsepower Mercury on the back there, just putting around. Uh, it does take up to an 8 horsepower, which would get you on the plane. My little Mercury doesn't get me on the plane. You can see that's probably close to flat out there with the nose lifted up. As I said, the Taka Cat is this is the 2.6 meter version, and that's with a 1.5 meter beam, so comfortably fits three adults. Just turning around to go through some weight, just to see how it copes with that, which is absolutely fine. Uh, there's no water went through then. Um, as I mentioned before, it is with that open design. Water will just flow straight through if you hit any chop or any wake. Um, it does mean that you might need a dry bag or something if you're picking up your groceries. All right, I'm going to head back in now and pick up everyone just to show what it's like with a full team of people on board. We're going to get the puppies and Brooke head over to the beach and show just how uh, the puppies deal with it. And so we're going to get everyone on board, and this is probably the bit I like the most about Taki Cat is come on, on board. Okay, all our passengers can just jump straight on. So with everyone on board. I guess the only thing that makes us a little bit nervous sometimes is the puppies do go right to the front there, as you can see Pippi doing. That's why we've got their harnesses on at the minute. They haven't gone in, they do this on the sup as well. We've got life jackets if it was worse waters than this. But they do enjoy it because they get all the smells and everything, and especially this little one gets to really see what's going on. But it is something that we do keep an eye on. And I guess if you've got little kids and whatnot, uh, that would be something you need to worry about as well. Pippi certainly loves the low profile. She gets to have a look at everything. In our last turn, though, she didn't get to see much at all. The engine really picked up in this one, so I'll do a bit of voiceover again. Uh, so we're just going along with the puppies here, and you can see just how much they like that open design on the front. They can see everything. Uh, they can get all the smells and for kids and whatnot you can really uh, you know you're not honed in by that big uh, cushion you'd usually have at the front the big tube and that really comes to its own when we come up to the beach which we're doing now so we'll just slow down in a second and that raised nose allows you to get right up onto the beach so if you as long as it's uh, good beaching you shouldn't even have to get your feet wet you can step straight off under dry sand um, we're just training the puppies to not jump off. They really do love getting in the water, so we just need to work on that. But um, it does mean they can just jump straight off and not have to get carried off. Um, so here we go, just beaching. You can see we're up past the waterline, and everyone just steps straight off. Super easy. So you can see how easy the beaching is. It really makes uh, that transition from your boat to the shore really nice. Have a look at the Taka Cat just on the beach there. You can see that lifted nose, plenty of room for everyone. That's the blue rope I usually use to uh, just hook up onto the beach, onto a tree or something. Just loading everyone up to get them back to the boat. We don't usually let the puppies back on the boat because they're all sandy and whatnot. So we load them in and then we're off on our way back to Antoinette. Who's coming in? You can see that bow. One of the other big advantages of the Taki Cat and that bow design is the ability to pick people up out of the water so you don't have to launch yourself over a big tube. So I guess uh, I'll have to demonstrate that. Once you're aboard your Taki Cat, um, it's a really nice place to sit and uh, put your feet in the water. Uh, we're going to get ready to go, so the next thing we're going to do is retrieve this, get it back on the rack and um, just see how easy that is. Now for the retrieval, uh, we do it backwards, so we're going to bring the stern up this way, 
because the engine's over that side. This is only the second time we've done this, so we're, we're figuring out the best way to do it. Uh, I'm sure you're going to let me know in the comments a better way to do it, but this is the way we've got it. But I guess the thing that what it really shows off is just how light this Tucker Cat is to maneuver around uh, wherever you want to put it on your boat. So let's head to it. I put a rope on the stern. There we go. Bit awkward, but as you can see, light enough to maneuver. So there we have. We've got the tacky cat on the rack. I'm going to rope it all in and do everything. I guess the last thing just to point out is, yeah, we leave it this way on the tender rack. We put a cover across it. If it rains, all the water just goes straight out. The last one we had to flip it over, a big palava. So we do like that point of this. Anyway, we're going to get to it and enjoy the rest of this awesome day. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you've got any comments or questions, leave them down below. Otherwise, we'll see you next time on the rudder.